And Coach Sanchez certainly knows about what it's like and how it is to win when it comes to coming out with victories, apart from state titles in football. He's also coached dozens of state champions in wrestling at Sunnyside High School. In addition to being a coach, Sanchez also serves as a father figure, a mentor, and a garden, guardian rather, for Team USA and former Sunnyside wrestler Roman Bravo Young. Alongside Coach Richard Sanchez on the sidelines of Santa Rita's football scrimmage against Empire, this is arguably Arizona's best high school wrestler of all time, Roman Bravo Young. He's doing a, a great job. Honestly, I'd say he's like my father figure. Bravo finished a summer session at Penn State where he wrestles for the college power and was back in the old Pueblo supporting Coach Sanchez, who took him into his own home the last three years at Sunnyside. Takes care of me, still have my, still have my room in his, uh, in his house, and. Uh, just hang out. I've been with him three years. He's taught me everything, and he supports me to the fullest, and uh, that's why I got to come support him. Supporting Coach Sanchez at Santa Rita, and remember, Bravo Young has the best record in high school wrestling history. Never a loss at Sunnyside. Four state championships, 182 wins, zero losses. Even though his main sport, of course, was wrestling, it wasn't uncommon to see Roman Bravo Young on the sidelines of high school football games with Sunnyside High School, at least the home ones, when he was a student here in the Tucson area. And one thing's for sure, it seems like he missed it because, as you saw, he also would find himself on the sidelines of a Santa Rita High School game supporting Coach Sanchez, who's always been a mentor to him and, of course, in some cases, like a father figure. The thing that we're most proud of him, you know, he, he's a wrestler and everybody knows how good he is, but the person that he's becoming and the fact that he's at Penn State, an elite university, not just wrestling, but going to school. And occasionally taking in a high school football game when available. Hey, good to see football in a wrestler's blood as well. And moving on, Sawadita hosted a two-way power, Eloy Santa Cruz Valley. Last year, the Dust Devils broke off 12 wins in a row, and the boys from Eloy's only loss last year was in the state title game. The Sawadita Mustangs are bringing the horsepower against the Dust Devils of Santa Cruz Valley. The Dust Devils had the ball fourth and goal from the five. And how about Austin Hukiel? Rolling out, looking for pay dirt, but Sawadita's Jay Haylock steps up with a big hit at the goal line. That stops the drive, no TD. And later, Sawadita is driving and Colin Fanning goes deep to Oscar Martinez. That, folks, is a touchdown. After that, they will go for two and check out Bryce Williams about to take it in himself. Sawadita jumps ahead, eight zip. Sawadita led most of the game with one, 28-22 in overtime. Definitely a tough way to start the season for Sawadita, but they get the win against a battle tested squad from Eli. Hey, we're far from over with. After the break, we will head to Palo Verde High School. The Titans host Casa Grande. Plus, we relive the best moments of last night's showdown between Northwest Powers, Island Ridge, and Mountain View as the Friday football fever rolls on.